leather seats, an iPod dock and a wine chiller. Singapore's iconic cable car has just been glammed up. It's all in the details. The world's first seven-star cable car cabin comes adorned with Swarovski crystals. And there is only one of it. Crystals on the top and crystals on the see-through bottom. This is the first seven-star cable car cabin in Singapore. Actually, the wall. So what do we have in this special VIP cable car? First, um, the seats. Real letter with VIP written on it. And then, of course, there's stuff like cup holders with a glittery finish. And of course, a wine chiller. And really special, we have an iPod dock. And music. These are some of the features that are not available in the regular cable cars. So, how much does it cost to have a ride in this special 7-star cable car? Well, it's a hefty $888 and it seats 4 passengers. The round trip, which takes about 26 minutes, includes a bottle of champagne and admission into Sentosa. Half of the $888 that you will be paying will be donated to a charity which has yet to be decided. Well, if you aren't quite ready to shell out that amount of money on the VIP cabin, you can get a ride to Sentosa on shiny new regular cabins instead. Built by the Dopama Garaventa Group, the cable car system has been given an overhaul. It took 9 months to complete at a cost of $36 million. Main changes include a brand new mono cable system which is more efficient than the bi cable system of old. The new system can regulate the speed of cable cars better. Previously, there were 81 cable cars altogether. Now, the fleet is a Lena 67, but mostly because the overhauled system can carry more passengers. The new cabins can seat 8 passengers compared to the capacity of 4 passengers previously. These new cabins boast new features such as cup holders, flip out benches and infotainment systems. A level walking concept means that prams and wheelchairs have easy access. While the shiny new cable car cabins are all ready for visitors, what about the old but well-loved cabins? Actually, interesting. We have actually donated some, actually, you know, for charity. We also have donated some to the old folks' home and also schools. And some of the public actually even bought it, you know, to uh, display it at home. It was in 1976 when the first cable car system started operations in Singapore. 36 years on, with the rejuvenation of the cable car system, the old iconic cabins have not been forgotten. 